Hello and welcome back to On The Workbench. Today we're taking a look at the four port 24 volt max four port charger from Cobalt. This is part of their 24 volt max cordless lineup. So this is what it looks like in the box. First thing looking at these boxes I think is always interesting to see the tool matrix on the top. One thing I think is interesting on the tool matrix is looking at the box here is we see the SDS plus rotary hammer. We also see the older style light that I had unboxed and I showed you before in a previous video, the flat pack, I guess we call it the area floodlight on the box there. Just interesting just to see how the evolution of this graphic goes. That tells us quite a bit. So the other bit that we're going to see on the back here in just a second, see these four ports across here? These four ports are not able to charge at the same time. That's a very important detail that yes, I'm aware of going into this product. And so if you're buying this to hopefully charge four batteries at the same time, this is not the right tool for you. What you'd wanna do is have four separate chargers, but what this will do if you stack four on here and then you go to lunch, uh, you let it sit overnight or sit for a while, it'll just work all the way through rather than having to swap batteries in and out and in and out on and off of a charger. And this is the so-called fast charger, if you will. And so as we look at the specs on here, one of the key specs here is that this is rated at 110 watts. And so if we look at the basic charger, just a single narrow body charger with no fan, this is rated at 45 watts on the back, whereas this one is 110 watts. So this should be about twice as, slightly more than twice as fast. And this should also be air cooled. So let's open the box and see what we get. And so if we look at the charger here, you can see we've got our four slots here and we've got battery indicators over the top of each battery. So we can see the status of those as well as two pass-through outlets. There is no grounding on those as the outlet or the cord that comes with this is not grounded. A little disappointed in that would have been nice if this would have been grounded and actually have a grounded outlet as a pass through or to actually have those as USB port options. So you could just plug a cell phone charging cable into that directly or a charging cable for another light or something else into it directly. But since there is, but what you still could do is you could still take a stack of these that you may have floating around and then plug these into it as well. And then this can charge at the same time as this is running through four of these, or you could have several of these in parallel, all running sequentially and plugged into each other. Obviously there's gonna be a limitation on what your outlet can support. So a couple little quick measurements here. Let's go across side to side. Side to side here, we're, we're looking at about 21 inches. If we wanna go on end, So if, now looking at this from the back, one of the things I think that seems nice about this is this does lay flat like that. So this could be placed flat up against the wall and there are keyholes you can see here. Now let's check the spacing on those keyholes. Ideally that would be 16 inches to match a typical stud spacing. And what do you know? It is 16 inches on center. So if you are working on framing out a house you do have 16 inch on center mounting points, or if you've got a garage that does not have walls and all you have is the exposed framing, you could just st stick this right onto the studs and be good to go. So very thoughtful. I, I appreciate them thinking 16 inches on center matches the US market perfectly. And you can even put it on all four sides here. And then this is even printed here, 16 inches this way, there is no top to down spacing. So let's measure that. And so if we go top to bottom on these keyholes, we're looking at 5.5 uh, we'll inches. Just for comparison, the regular charger here is at 2.5 inches for the hole spacing. So if you see those side by side, the same holes for the small one will not work with the four port charger. On this end here, there is a fuse that is held in with a Phillips head screw. Let's see what this fuse looks like here. 
Ideally, you won't actually blow this fuse, but let's see what the fuse looks like. And so we have a ceramic fuse. And this ceramic fuse is 10 amp, 250 volts. So a 10 amp, 250 volt ceramic fuse to protect the batteries and the circuitry. I like the fact that they at least thought to make this user replaceable. Hopefully this doesn't go out on yet, but it is user replaceable. One of the few times I've seen a cobalt tool that had an intentional service port for someone to be able to service it. I appreciate that. And then also in this dimension here, let's make a quick measurement here onto the side here. And this sits right about six inches deep. The next thing I want to check is to see how this accommodates the newer ultimate output battery. So if I put the ultimate output battery here, and I place the traditional two or four or even the six amp hour battery. It looks like there is no issue with the size of the battery here of this being too wide as it is for the fan, for example, for being able to fit next to the older batteries. So that's good. So this should work with the ultimate output battery. And then this will provide a, a simple charging. So when I'm done with my batteries, I can just cycle them through and they can keep charging so I don't have to remember to take one off the charger and put it back on. Uh, so Cobalt also offers the same 24, I'm sorry, the same 110 watt charger in a one port charger, as opposed to a four that sells for about half the price. In my opinion, getting the extra three ports for it to auto sequence through is probably worth it. That's a call you're gonna have to make for yourself if it's worth it or not. But to me, I think it makes sense. And so these two batteries are fully charged, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the wall anyway and see how this lights up and responds. Maybe you heard the fan kick on there. Here you go like this. And like this, there it goes. Now it's flashing. And so it looks like it's gonna to top that off just a second here, and now that's steady. And so we can see it's recognizing the old and the new type batteries correctly. So after having the charger for a couple of weeks, I've made one notable mod to it, and that is I added a backing to this. So this is just a couple of pieces of, of wood glued together. I spray painted it blue just to match because I'm a little OCD like that. Then I added a couple of clips that you see here. These are simply these Craftsman VersaTrack clips. They're intended to convert a drill into being VersaTrack compatible for the V20 tools from Craftsman. But since I've got the track, I don't have the, Versa, the V20 tools, but I wanted to make this adaptable onto my VersaTrack rails. I'll sit above my workbench. I had this little adapter and I made that up right quick. And so, so far, no complaints. Obviously, one of the things that's important is that this is a sequential charger. It does not charge four batteries at the same time. But the next thing I wanna do is to be able to time how long it takes to charge these batteries. So let me hang this charger back up. And so now you can see we got the charger with its four bays. And then I ha also happen to have a nice collection of other batteries that are discharged. Here's a two amp hour. You can see it's flashing. Another two amp hour, also flashing. We've got a four amp hour. We've got the four amp hour ultimate output. And then we have the six hour battery. And we're gonna time how long it takes for all these batteries to charge. I also have the standard slow charger here. So we're gonna start this out with a head to head between the two two amp hour batteries. And then the sequential charger will then go down the line with the four normal, the four ultimate output followed by the six. Uh, and then I also have this right now, it's currently tied to a power switch or a power strip, so we'll be able to activate these all at the same time that I plug in the two amp hours. So now let's go ahead and load up the charger. So now we've got this two amp hour battery and this two amp hour battery that we'll be able to keep track of on here. I'm gonna turn this a little sideways so you can see the light to have a better, hopefully a better chance of seeing it. And then on top here, we've got a series of lights that once those all go green, we'll be good. Now, just to help with the time lapse, I'm gonna put a clock in here too and set that over here just to help you 
keep track of how much time has passed as I run this as a time-lapse video. As you hopefully just saw, the sequential charger here works left to right and definitely made a difference on the two amp hour batteries. I'll put the time on the screen so you can see for comparison purposes, as well as the time for the regular four amp hour, the four amp hour ultimate output with the 21700 cells, and the six amp hour. So I hope you found this, I hope you found this comparison interesting. You'll have to make it a case for yourself if you're interested in this four port charger. You can get the same charge rate out of a single port charger that's about half the cost of about well, 41, 42, 43 bucks, give or take. This one checking in at about $80 as of August, 2020. So in my opinion, this charger is perfect for say overnight charging of a whole bunch of battery packs to be able to get you going the next day. Or you've got packs to cycle in that you use them in the morning charge a few over lunch, especially with the two amp hour, it can cycle through those much quicker than the larger batteries. And then as you're done, just put it on and then just rotate batteries off and it'll get back and pick them up. And so that's your look at this Cobalt four port charger. Questions or comments, put it down in the description below. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscribe button and have a great day. Bye.